Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Danganronpa V3. So, we are having an event with apparently Kokichi as well, but I know Mio is supposed to be here. Are the events ever with the person that we well, I, <laughs> start I with? I think we saw her here too, in the little intro cutscene of this, but yeah, of course you invite more people. Wait up, Shuichi! Huh? Huh? Kokichi? And Kyo? And Ryoma? Virgin. Looks like this oh, pupil's no. virgin was eavesdropping on us. What about the rest of them? <laughs> As an evil supreme leader, I can't pass up the chance to watch you in a jackpot. That's correct. Ryoma and I have just arrived as well. Yeah. This place is pretty suspicious. We better investigate it thoroughly. Hey, hey. Well, well, we could play some secret game with Shuichi's mail, can't we? Is that really true? Uh -oh. oh no. What? You came up with that rule. Fucking moron! You, Dodoy, who else could it be? No, no. But it wasn't me. The fuck you just say? Quit fucking around. <laughs> I'm not playing dumb. I never tell a lie. Cause bears don't lie. <laughs> That's not very persuasive. Hey, um... First of all, that metal is just a special knickknack I made for the mono cups. There's no reason for you guys to have it. Stick it in a slot machine if you want. Oh, so he doesn't care. But he did say he using a slot machine. So he can use it even though it's supposed to be a special item. Apparently. Why you? What? You mean I got fake info? Yeah, who would have ever thought that the model kids or cubs could have lied? Oh, Typical useless Mew. You would get jerked around by fake info like that. Uh. Oh, and now she's all sweaty. Jeez. <laughs> well, it's fine if it was just fake info. It's not the reason I came here anyway. Why did you come here? Oh, oh, everyone is coming here. Whoa. What are you guys doing here? Hmm. Kaito? <laughs> Why are you here, Kaito? I thought you swore off gambling forever. Hey. <laughs> I guess that didn't last. Why do you think I came here to gamble? Well, Would one come here for some other reason? Ah. No, you're wrong. I didn't come here to gamble. I'm Kaito Momota. I just don't understand. Whoa, okay, Kaito. Sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> just don't understand why the instincts of Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, were off. Oh, I see. So you're positive you'll win this time. Kaito, it's good to be confident, but not when you're wrong about everything all the time. What? You take that back. Don't screw around. Don't you dare underestimate the instincts of Kaito Momota. I challenge you, Kokichi. <laughs> and I accept your challenge. Uh oh. So easily manipulated. Where are they going to play together, though? There's not many games. So simple, like a moth to a flame. Uh, okay. Maybe the racing will open? Well, that'd be cool. I hope it does. Yeah. Kaito, Kokichi, Korakayo, Korkio, Ryoma, and I. What about Mew? The five, except the one person that actually invited us. The five of us each used our coins and complete, competed at the slots. Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh. I've been roped into it before. I even realized it. Eh, who cares? Apparently, like, we do want to get more of those keys, uh, I've been told in the comments, so hopefully you don't lose uh, too much from this. Wait, why am I getting shoved aside? We were thinking the same thing, Mew. It's a good question. You might rig the slot machine so it wouldn't be a fair match. Huh? What? No fucking way I'd ever do that. Never? It's written all over your face that you would. Alright! Well then, let's start. Oh, oh. no. I guess it didn't go well for the Luminary of the Stars. The competition was over in a heartbeat. What? Why? But I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary <laughs> of the Stars! I love how pleased everyone looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kaito lost in a landslide. Whoa! That was so awesome, Ryoma! I was wondering if maybe it was Ryoma that won, because he looks so pleased with himself. <laughs> Look at his little smirk. Yep. Winning at something like this isn't anything to brag about. Oh. Still seem pretty pleased about it though. Against all odds, Ryoma won in a landslide. Hey, do you have some sort of trick? Nothing like that. Just got a knack for it, I guess. He's also secretly the ultimate lucky student as well. He hasn't told us yet. What? What? You mean you're lucky? That's just superstition. What is it? I cannot ignore that comment. Do not relegate luck to the realm of superstition. <laughs> oh my! Kokichi senses are tingling. Kyo is about to give an anthro anthropology lecture. 
For example, it is said that certain words or phrases will jinx a difficult challenge. This is deeply connected to the Japanese concept of kotodama, the power of words. <laughs> like saying green if you want me to go harder, or red if you want me to stop? Uh, yeah, exactly. Say. Please be silent. W why? <laughs> Always uh, getting shot down. What? I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. So then. Kotodama is a belief that words contain power that can influence reality itself. Speaking positive words leads to fortune, and negative words leads to misfortune. Right? Yeah, like when you rephrase a sentence so it doesn't sound as unlucky. I see, yes. Yes, when someone facing a challenge hears negative words, they might feel it is unlucky. That feeling of misfortune may then affect their focus or motivation, yes? I see, in that case, perhaps a belief in superstition is what affects them. No. I don't let silly things like that affect me. I win simply because I'm confident in my skills. That's all it takes. That's correct. Yes, and words have the power to grant or rob someone of such confidence. Words are powerful. Truth or lies may both be fired as powerfully as a bullet from a gun. Okay. I see. I guess you can't underestimate luck. Hey, so... Hey, Ryuma, didn't you have any pre-game rituals or something? Yeah. Hmm, well now that you mention it, when I was playing a match, if I entered the court with my right foot, it'd go well. So I did the same thing with the slot machine here. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> I bet your racket bends to the right too. Oh jeez, Mio, please be silent forever. It's so annoying. Stop glaring at me, it was just a joke. Some of the interactions between certain characters works really well. Alright! Alright, then I'll give it a try. <laughs> You're so gullible, Kaito. And... Yep. <laughs> there he is again. Kaito. Yeah. Ryoma wins again! Too bad! <laughs> <laughs> oh my Third goodness. Right. Why don't you give it a try <laughs> with your other hand? Every single line. Luck mm. alone doesn't produce results as consistent as these, Ryoma. Well, of course. If I was just lucky, I wouldn't be undefeated on the court. Wait, is he also cheating too? Or is he just talking about his skill? You know, Kaito, but there's no skill in gambling. You don't have any skills yeah. when it comes to gambling. Exactly. Shut up! My skills are suited for the universe! Uh-oh, okay. If you say so. That's why they don't work on gambling! I can't waste it on that! Then why do you keep doing it, Kaito? That's why I don't gamble anymore! That's what you said last time! Yeah, I think that's for the best. Well, we'll see if it lasts. Oh, Kaito. I took a very depressed Kaito back to his room, and then I returned to mine. So much for that. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping we have a chance to buy some stuff from the store, but I guess not. Oh, well. Kokichi and Gonta. What? Oh yeah, they were doing stuff together, I forgot. I'm like, <laughs> Gonto wasn't in that scene. Angie and Himiko. And Ryoma. And Maki too. Yeah, but they're clearly not together. Everyone's all over the place, but I shouldn't just let them be. There should be something I can do. Yes, I'm gonna do something about this. Oh, more Another free, time. free time. Very nice. Now, what? I wanna check this out one more time. I don't know if it does anything different. Yeah, just saying that. So, now that we finished that scene, I guess we could talk a little bit about what we've done in between this session and the last session. What have we done? Well, a certain someone was looking up information online I got a word of. Me. Yeah, because you were curious about the, uh, like the, what do you call them? The mono Monokumas. stickers? Monokumas? Yeah, whatever. Um, Monokumas. Since we were having a hard time finding them. And I, it was spoiler free. I only found out the locations for this chapter and nothing else. No, okay, like, I'll, I'll trust you on that one, I guess. Um, I have no other choice. No, like, murders or anything at, at all. Um, but it one of them is in the warehouse and then one of them is somewhere outside. I forgot already. It's by the entrance to something. So it means the that the, we do to have something. to, like, check everywhere that we've already been because they appear in places that we've looked already. That is kind of annoying. Maybe the entrance to here? Because I'm not sure. It was on, it's on the other side of a fence somewhere. Do you want me to look it up? Be on the other right side now. of this, maybe. Oh yeah, someone said what this meant. It's Avaricia and Lux Luxulia. 
Oh. Which is like Does that mean something? lust and greed or greed and lust, oh, I guess. Why are the letters like that? I can't read it. Yeah, I didn't know what those was supposed to be either. But yeah, thank you for that info. You're welcome. I appreciate <laughs> that wasn't you. <laughs> you on the other side of this? No, it's on the other side of like a fence outside in the grass. A fence. Okay, I was just wondering if maybe it's on the other side of this thing since this was a new area, but I guess not. I'll go back then. Sorry. Not listening. I was listening. I thought maybe you meant like this, like this wall thing was like a giant fence or whatever. Like one of these like little fence posts. Yeah. Yeah, people are talking about the keys and how you could basically get any scene. It's just kind of like random. So oh. we didn't necessarily have to get Maki scene. It was just... Just lucky, I guess. Basically luck that we happened to get that. And we actually wanted that one since we or couldn't I hang out anyway. with her. <laughs> well, I was interested in that too because I wanted to see what was going on with her. Like her old backstory since we couldn't actually do any free time events with her. It's not going to be here. Dang it. So we should get more keys as soon so, as we can. But in the future, can we like choose our person or no? We still can't ever. No, it's just random. Always? So we have to get like as many keys as we can. I Jeez. guess once you already do one with someone, you won't get them again probably. That makes sense. I'm assuming that. I wasn't told that. I don't think. Is that one? Oh yeah, there we go. It's right there. So uh, what is he? Hold on. Backpack. I'm just laying down. Control is sometimes a little bit... Yeah, there we go. Gotcha. So, yeah, thanks for letting us know about that, guys. I guess we'll try to get some keys, but I don't know if you have that many coins to afford it. They're expensive. They are expensive. You can save and reload, but even if we don't get the keys in time, I think what we can do is we can just always do that, like, chapter load and select. That's true. Like, that should make it easy enough to keep getting the different scenes. What? Why do you keep leveling up? Jeez. You're walking. It's a little bit like crazy though. I guess finding the Monokum also did it. Oh, and the other one you said it was in the, the warehouse. warehouse. So let's walk there. It's pretty quick. It's not a long journey by any means. But now we know that like next chapter we have to look everywhere. We really do. It's so annoying. Unless you happen to cheat again. <laughs> well, I guess I could do that. But we were giving it a try. We never would have looked here. We might have found that one outside, but we never would have looked Oh, yeah, here. and I forget if anyone ever said, um... Because I try to read all the comments, but I may not catch all of them. Is there anything that the Monokuma things do in particular? Like, did we get more skills because of that? Or, like, the skill numbers? So that's 24 right now. Now let me see what happens when we get the one here. Do you see him? Um, they said he was on a shelf. We might have to punch stuff. You keep a, oh, there, oh, on the top. Him. Or her. Oh, wants to scroll over the other thing. What's Cute little doing? hat. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so now we're good. We don't have to worry about it for the rest of the chapter. Yep, not till the trial. All right, so it's it not that. Wait, did the coins change? How many coins did we have? 474. I think it was around that amount before. I don't know. So I don't think it, I don't know what they give you in this game. Yeah, if you guys want to tell us if it's something that's not spoiler. What if they do nothing and we're just collecting them? They just could just be collect collectibles them. just for the sake of getting them. Then why did I spoil? <laughs> How could you? That's the whole point. Oh well. It doesn't oh, matter too much. They probably give you some trophy at the end anyway, so we'll get a trophy a eventually. Name. Or achievement or whatever they're called on Steam because I think they each use their own name. All right, I'm just getting some extra money because I don't know if slap. we have close to getting the amount for another key. And we have to slap for keys. We have to slap for keys, yes. Wait, I should probably check the school store. Oh, yeah. Are there I any more items in stock here as well? Those giraffes. And these don't, don't do anything? No. Okay. I don't know. This is looking like we should do something on the side. So, no, it's 100% repeat. Same. So there's nothing new here. Nope. Alright, we'll leave. I guess finding the Monokuma little collectible, he gives you a lot of points because now we're almost at level 50. Ah, uh, that's true. So that must be what it is that gives you most of them. You know, maybe I'll stop by the classroom here and slap for some coins. So they usually okay. give you a good amount. Who do you want to do your free time with today? I don't know. Let's talk about that now while we're slapping. Should we do like. Kaito and Kibo again, since we've been doing them. Well, we could. We or could do try. Or you want to try someone else? Someone different as well. Might be good to try someone different every now and then. But what if the one of them dies and we don't get to fulfill them? I know. I mean, that's always a risk. You never know who it's going to be next. 
I mean, I guess you could know if you... Or not know, but you can make like an educated guess. Like, I'm kind of feeling a bit worried about Kaito, because of like, and the he's been involved in so much stuff lately. Yeah, and the maid too. But, I mean, that's still just a guess more than anything. Right. The yeah. maid doesn't seem like she's going to be killed. She seems like she might kill. Yeah, or be involved somehow. Even if she just like covers up the bad. murder. That's but true, it also someone... could be Gonta. Yeah, because he's been hanging out with, with, uh, with, uh, with Kokichi. With Kokichi. I always forget his name. I, am, I want to say like Kaibo for a second. <laughs> There's too many K names. Kokichi, Kibo, Kyo, Kaito. Is there anyone else? That's a lot. Kaede. Yeah. See? <laughs> a lot of K's. Could have just fast travel, but it doesn't make much of a difference. We're almost there. Plus, the menu takes a while to load up sometimes. It's funny, like, transitioning between screens doesn't really take a lot of time like this. But if you want to save or load, yeah. forget it. Alright, so how many do we have? Only 222, so we'll never make it. Yeah, so you only have half. Nope. You could gamble. Yeah, but that'll take forever. You so what I'll just do is I'll just long. do it off screen. And then even if we want to do like the scenes with the people that may die or, you know, be killed as the blackened, we could load back up in the chapter and then just do the scenes with like whatever money we get later. Okay. Because it's totally possible now that I know that. I actually make things a lot like easier for me to think about now since I don't have to worry about things being permanent. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I think in the other games, whenever I saw the chapter select, I assume that once you've done that, you had to play back from that point. You couldn't go back forward. But now that I know that you can, it's really no issue whatsoever. I'm not sure how many people know that. I'm assuming most people that watch us, they seem to know a lot about the game. But then again, there probably are a few people that are like either blind to this as well or Maybe they haven't played it as much to know that. Right, so Kaito's inside the dormitory. You could do Ryoma, even though you don't particularly like him. I always thought he's kind of interesting. We could try one of the girls for once. Let's see how that goes. The maid is in the uh, magic room. Why? Why what? Why is she in the magic room? Oh, you're suspicious, you mean? Okay, I see. Well, let's see what she's she says. Rigging. We have to do this every day. She's rigging the magic show. See what she's going to say to us next. She always has some new threat. I <laughs> hope she's just silent. She just silently glares at us. She's like, I've yelled at you every time. I guess she follows you too. Or maybe she'll bring up, she's like, I had a dream about you last night. She it's a like classic doom. Maki? Well, I don't care who it is. I'm not letting anyone through. Now, goodbye. Not even with our scene from a few nights ago that you don't remember. Maki's been here this whole time. She must not. She must really not want anyone to enter. Nope. Apparently. Uh, what do you have to say, Kibo? Hi, Kibo. Kibo. Why are your Why are you so mean? The magic show. See you one -on -one? It seems I'm connected to the killing game, so I don't foresee any issues with it. Really? I think it will be. I'm not sure though. Should we do Kibo or should we do someone else? I don't know. He's not very nice. Tell when me. You talk Come to one-on-one. -on -one. Someone else. Besides the two we've already been doing the whole time. Someone else? We want to try the maid or Kyo? It's up to you. Let's do a girl. Let's do the maid. Because she's probably going to be gone anyway. <laughs> Aw. Okay. Where was she again? In the... In the magic room, you said. Oh, right. I was trying to remember. I'm like, no, I don't remember correctly. Before we do that, I think there's usually some good stuff in the gym to slap. Stop, stop, stop. What do you say? Oh, uh, just raging no. about Himiko. Obviously not, even though she's staring at the gym intensely. <laughs> I wonder... Oh, we might not be allowed in there if they're preparing for the magic show. Staff access only. Oh, what is this? There's small talismans posted on the door that leads to the gym. <laughs> of course, they're magical runes to keep you out. They did say that the magic show would be in the gym. No one's allowed to enter while they're setting up. That could be suspicious. It Wait a second, is everyone available? Let me just... It's probably that way, otherwise that'd be too much of like a giveaway. But, yeah. So... They're in there, and you can't get them. So we couldn't hang out with them if we wanted to. Nope. But that also means if that one of them was to be dead now, there's no way we could actually check up on that. Hmm. I don't know. Mysterious. 
because that could definitely come into play. Well, whatever. I guess I can't think too much about it right now. So much for doing that. Usually there's some good coins in the gym. Oh, I think there are a number of things to slap. Maybe we can slap things in the magic room. I think they're doves, right? Oh, poor dove. You slap the hat, make the doves pop out. They're in their cage, too. Oh, it's the cage that you slap, then. But I think if you slap the hat, they go away. Yep. Oh, there they are. They're extra in the hat. Those ones bam, can knock it out. Bam, bam. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Do we have made stuff? I hope we do. We'll see in a second, I guess. Oh, crap. Preparations for the magic show have been going well. I'd hope so. Angie, myself, and others have been helping Himiko. Who are the others that are involved? I would like to know that, actually. Just in case. Yes. Yes, I am free at the moment, so I can commit to your requests. And I'm gonna say now, if something happens like Angie or Himiko, I think that Tink is gonna be one of the suspects because of how angry she is right now. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna be like someone we'll have to interrogate or spend some time with Kurumi. Or, uh, question, I should say. Although I don't think she's gonna be the one that does it. She'll probably be a red herring. If we're a little closer today, let's give a present, which I hope I can actually guess correctly. I do correctly. kind of remember something maidish. Oh, is that mirror maidish? Or no, wait, that dust thing? All uh, oh, right? you're right, but we only have one of it. Oh, no, it's for mages, actually. Oh, never mind. That's good. It's a broom for flying. I was gonna say, I like to try to keep one of an item if it's possible. I don't know why, just a... It makes sense. A habit. Huh. She's tissues? I don't know. No happy endings, though, of course. Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, this is about ghosts that, and paranormal. that green thing is used to clean, but it also says something about robots. Yeah, that's why I assumed I read the but last part. But it gets part. rid of any mess. So, it could be it. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know, man. I would think that would be it. Sure, why not? She does cleaning. Right. He doesn't really clean himself, I guess. Makes sense, hopefully. Does it make sense to you? Oh. I never told you I needed this, but is it truly all right for me to have this? Nice, it worked. Good Thank job. You. This will help me immensely. If I use this, this can help everyone as well. It'll help us all in the long run. Shuichi, how can I help you? Oh, we're just huh? spending time. Help me. I will grant your wishes. Give me any command. <laughs> I will do anything for you. Sounds so strange. I don't really have anything at the moment to ask you. How? Why did you talk to me then? That's... I was thinking that we could spend some time together. Is that alright? I do not agree. No, not at all. If that is what you wish for, then I will wait by your side forever. But she just said, I do not agree. I know. <laughs> so please do not hesitate and request anything. Uh, um... It's not that I want you to wait on me. I just want to be with you a while. That is a rather vague request. What do you wish for me to do? I hope she's not getting the wrong idea. Oh. I already told you, I don't wish for anything. How? Why did you call for me then? Then... Alright, how about this? Let's talk about something else. Understood. Would you like me to serve you by keeping you company? Huh? Serve? Do you agree? Is that not what you wished for? Well, this isn't going well either. That isn't quite it. What should I say? Krumi is a maid. Perhaps that's why she's been so insistent about this. But at this rate, I'm gonna suffocate. Krumi's being too serious. Hey, hey Krumi. Didn't you chat with your classmates during lunch breaks or after school? Yes. I had somewhat. Why do you ask? Remember. Because I wanted to spend some time with you in that way. Um. For example, perhaps we could drink some tea in the dining hall. That is fine. Yes, that is fine. Then let us go to the dining hall. Good. She seems to understand. She's going to serve you tea in the dining hall. It sounds like it's probably likely to happen. What do you think? Shuichi, what would you like to drink? Tea or coffee? That's true. Uh, tea, I suppose. Understood. Understood. I will go and prepare it. Please wait. <laughs> Here we go. Ah! Ah! Wait, Kurumi! Too late. She's already in the kitchen. I didn't mean to make her prepare tea all by herself. Well, we could just walk in after her. Never mind. That was quick. My apologies. My apologies for making you wait. It is done. But that was like the quickest tea ever. I know. No worries. Kurumi returned, pushing a cart. On that cart ah. was... What's all this? Yes. It is your afternoon tea. I can see that, but I've never seen something so extravagant. 
there were delectable sandwiches, cakes, and scones lined up on the cart. The tea smelled so wonderful, it put all the other tea I ever, ever had to shame. She prepared all that in just minutes? Is this the power of the ultimate maid? Please, go ahead. Shuichi, please sit here. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you. I sat down but noticed Kurumi standing still, with perfect posture as always. Hmm. Kurumi, aren't you gonna sit? Mm -hmm. But if I sit as well, then I cannot serve you. No. I don't want you to serve me. Come and sit with me. Please, go ahead. I prepared this just for you, so please. But... May I? Shuichi, you commanded me to prepare you tea. I will do my best. And I intend to complete any request given. Please enjoy this tea. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Well. Drink your freaking tea. <laughs> friendship accomplished, I guess. That large. <laughs> oh man, these free times don't exactly go as we planned <laughs> in the first place, huh? Kermie weighed on me hand and foot and I returned to my room. The tea and sandwiches, the scones, the cakes, they were all excellent. We didn't I exactly get to know her like we wanted to. Oh well, she's keeping herself a mystery. Have you ever had a scone? Did you eat one in Scotland? I'm sure I had one at some point. There's still some time left. But someone's at her door. Is it gonna be <laughs> Kaito <laughs> again? <laughs> he always rings like a hundred times. I guess that's Kaito, but is he here to train already? Where are we supposed to train at night? It's a little early. It's someone else. 